was born in a farmhouse called Fernhill Farm in Hawley that my granddad was the farm manager. And uh, I am 82 years old and I was born on the 12th of March 1935, which I believe was a Tuesday. <laughs> Had a reasonably hard for you know childhood, but uh, it was a bit harder once my father was killed, and uh, my mother brought us up all on her own, brought us the three children up on her own, and uh, you know internally grateful for her for what she'd done. She, I think she'd done a very good job. Uh, he was going out on duty like they had to do in them days, you know. Mm -hmm. If there was anything going on, they used to have to go out and do the, uh, you know, and report for duty at their fire station. And there was a dog fight going on over the top, so he said, I'm going to go on duty to, uh, just in case anything happens. And as he went out the back door, two bombs had dropped, but it was being aimed for the gas works. And thought we'd have two, you know, shots at once, but uh, the bombs fell short and my father got killed. <laughs> he was classed as a general labourer, but like, in them days there was no cars as such, you know, the working man never had a car. You know, they relied on their bikes and things like that. And he'd take a three-speed gearing out of a bike and mend it, repair it and things like that. And to be classed as a general labourer, I think it, it was a sham. You know, he'd make all sorts of things. When he got killed, he was in the throes of making me a toy Tommy gun. And it was never finished. But I had that for years. I don't know what happened to it in the end. You know, I thought, well, I'm not going in the army. See too many army personnel. So I volunteered to go in the Navy and joined at 17 and a half before National Service. I got married when I was uh, 22 and we had two children by then and I was 30 years old and I thought it wasn't fair on Sylvia to uh, bring up the children on her own because I was always away. And uh, that's the reason why I came out of the Navy. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I uh, went over the RAE, which is the Royal Aircraft Establishment Farber, and just applied for a job until I settled down and see what I would like to do in life. And I stayed there for 35 years. We mainly trained to fight aircraft fires, which is different to what the uh, main fire service outside does they don't uh, they do training on it but not as invigorated as what we were like you know and our job was basically being as a, was a research establishment was if anything happened to the aircraft our main job was to try and save the aircraft but the main thing was to try and save the pilot so we went into the flames to try and drag the pilot out, you know, if, or help him out, you know. But nine, nine times out of ten, it was a case of uh, dragging him out because he was unconscious or something like that. We had two or three incidents like that. And uh, then we had air shows that come up and there was two or three incidents at that. <laughs> but, yeah, I think the main one was uh, when the... It was a French Atlantic aircraft, which was a marine reconnaissance aircraft, and uh, that crashed. It clipped the roof of the old fire station where we were, and it spun over, and there was uh, what, five casualties on there, I believe. It was a very traumatic occasion because. Uh, we knew the people that had been killed and injured 
because they were right next door to the fire station. Right? You know, they hit the fire station roof and then bowled over, but they were in the transport detection. Right? You know, the control tower controlled everything on the airfield. And they just said, go, 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 and that's what you know, we just went. And uh, we were there within, what, 45 seconds to a minute. What I think of the world today, I think what's the trouble with the world today, it has advanced too fast and too quickly, i.e. all this electronic warfare, electronics this, electronics that, and people are forgetting about each other. They're more interested in playing with the phones and uh, laptops and all that sort of thing and people don't communicate as they should do with one another by talking and I think though I drew about grew up during the war and just after the war and my mother brought us up I think we had a far better childhood than what people have got today <laughs>